because the plasma is not linear. So the the the, the, the when it's building up, it's and, and then suddenly the, the, the resistance of the chain it gets negative. Mm -hmm. You can say or the, the current is increasing very fast, but not not increasing the, the voltage. Very very complex. Um, difficult to understand processes going on. Mm. But I like, I, I want, this, this will be the next stage to learn more about it. I, I am going to use the other power supply as well, again, so I can be able to go from milliamps to amps. Mm -hmm. So I'll say from 3 milliamps to 3 amps. Mm -hmm. 3,000 times, you can say. Yeah, 3,000, yeah, 3, different of thousands, at least see where the characteristics are compared to the Korea and experiments and, uh, because they have graphs and they have areas in the plasma where it gets uh, where the real negative resistance is. I want to find out this for my thing. Because then you can start thinking about self-generating uh, plasma. Yes, and that's what we need. Has to be self-generating something, um, and then you get all this these strange phenomena probably with, uh, with the energy. Yep. You ever to put like a radio near, or like a you know like a radio controller? No, I don't. You you have put a radio. Yeah, but not here. Uh, not on this one. No. Not in this one. I can. I don't use that yet. That one. Have you got a? I, I I've got an R thing here. Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. yeah. I just need a PP3 if you want one. Uh, Yeah, you can see when you put it on a very fast exposure that it's uh, it's not quite so stable in various places. As you pull it up, you can see these two spots are very stable in the bottom, and that one may be the rest are very very much more flickery. But it's, start, it's starting to aggregate, and it's got a flower around this central one here. You see it? The uh, rings. Yeah. It's strange. I mean, this is so... It's not standard. It's, it's, it's getting uh, more stable. So Hank, what you've got here is uh, the coil there, the the crossed coil is like a... Yeah, it's, like connect, a, it's connected to this one. Right. And I want to use it as a uh, extra... Uh, how do you call it? At the moment it's not live? No, it's okay. not just hanging there. I can, mm -hmm. I've been playing there with connecting it to the anode and connecting it to the cathode. Right, and, right. And making a capacitor on it. Mm -hmm. So you can see things happening, but mm -hmm. with the plasma going on to this, uh, this ring. 
Yeah. And, and that's what I'm just doing, playing around to see what's happening. And, and maybe I start to understand what it likes to do. And yeah. use that in, in, in a self oscillating system. Because that is the thing. It has it must be able to it must be possible to make a difference. And then somebody was, that, that was a, a remark I was thinking, that's interesting. It's the asymmetric capacitor. It's just a remark I can't. Well, that is the uh, T. Townsend Brown propulsion basis. Oh, we put a large capacitor plate and a small capacitor plate, and you want to run a charge to it, and it'll, mm -hmm. it'll, yeah. it'll, it'll, it'll move towards the small capacitor plate. Mm -hmm. But I also think that the, the positive plate is different from the negative plate because the, one of these plates has an excess of electrons, the other is a deficiency of electrons. Mm -hmm. So in that sense, it's also asymmetric. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What? Sorry. That means that on the surface is a different behavior of the, of the whatever field. Mm -hmm. And that could be uh, used as well, I think. Mm. Especially when tunneling and uh, the free energy uh, is. Okay, it's, start, it's starting to organize more now. You can still see by burying the uh, exposure here that it has a flower around this one that's, <laughs> you see? And that's, that's in the, the pressure is not going down too fast. So yeah, but it's getting there. It's, it's nice because you see you're seeing the evolution of it. It goes very slowly. Yeah. It's staying very slowly is going down. This, this is where you need a bigger tank with a lot more vacuum in it, and you just turn it on, and it just goes <laughs> and sucks most of it out. Yeah. You like pre-vacuum it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that can help, but then still. More, more possibilities to get a leak. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I, really, I don't want to have air in there. I want to, to control the, 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 the gases. Mm. I mean, when there is a little leak, there is constantly getting oxygen or whatever in there. Mm. Air in there. There you go. Uh, by by changing the speed, we can see which bits are most dynamic and which bits are most stable by varying the uh, speed of the shutter. Yeah, rearranging really quickly. They are, but several are v pretty darn stable. Yeah. But as the pressure goes down. Uh, more of them are becoming stable. Have you got the hydrogen in here at the moment? Nothing. Right. So this is this is just with residual this, air. This gas test was with air. Yeah. Uh, as the starting point, running it for a few hours like this, and, and getting hot tank for a long, long time, and then I was capturing. Uh, it, um, oh, this was the, this, with this glass in here. Mm -hmm. I captured the air, mm -hmm. so it was bubbling in there, mm -hmm. uh, full, full, of, full of water, yeah. so there's no no air. Yeah, 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 yeah. Bubbling in, and then when it's full, I, I, I under the water, I closed. The right. Yes, 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 yes. So everything what I yes. captured is there. Yeah, and yeah, it yeah. Is atmospheric. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm -hmm. you, from two millibar to one bar this bottle so yeah. you can see how many times I have put the content of the tank yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. in this bottle. Yeah yeah, mm -hmm. yeah 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 and and it is the number of atoms that is something I found out that the pressure is literally the number of atoms. It's not the type of atom. Yeah. Right, okay. That's that's something I did I think I find out very strange because when you think of a, an atom as an atom ball, mm -hmm. or as a, as, a, as a ball with kinetic energy, 
you would expect pressure be higher with a heavier gas, but that's not true. That's that's counterintuitive for me. Yeah. This was the first scrape of the screen. Oh right, okay. Alright, so it's quite dark. Okay. Hmm. And it is black. It can be copper oxide, it can be carbon. It's probably more carbon than carbon. A, that's a good mix there between seeing what's stable and what isn't stable. But as the pressure goes down, it's getting more and more stable locations. And, uh, this is nice because I can actually look through and I can change the white balance so that what I'm seeing yes. is, is what, what it's actually looking like. And at the moment, it's to the eye, I mean. So that's too blue. That's the, the, indeed the problem of the camera. It doesn't uh, reflect your eyes. Yeah, but what I'm a able to do here is rather than the auto white balancing, I'm looking to see what it is with my eyes and I'm adjusting the white balance so it is what I'm seeing. Which is, at the moment, I've got a little bit too much exposure compared to what my eye is doing, but the colour's right. Yeah, I can feel it. 500 watts going in the tank. Mm -hmm. If I go up like this, you're still seeing that cross. <laughs> you see around that central one there. Oh. It's getting a bit warm, I can smell stuff now. And I can see on the temperature that the plasma is going up the tank wall and not being very low anymore. Because when it is focusing on the bottom, all the energy is going there. So this is, a, this is the, the, the blue plasma is the place where the heat is being produced. The actual electrode is not very fixed in position at the moment, is it? I can actually, it's, it's on the if I go like that, the actual, no, it, it's on, it, the yeah, pendulum, the swing. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. Yeah. And that might account for some of the oscillatory locations. I don't know, I don't think so. But certainly some of them. It's interesting because You've got the bottom bowl of the uh, tank is facing the curvature of the ball, and that is not true of the top because the top is further away. Exactly. And you can see that maybe between this one and this one and this one, there are the um, yeah. dead zones if you know what I mean. You can imagine there's another location that it would have on there and another location that it would have on there if there was sufficient charge to excite it. But there probably is a structure there. It's just not at a state where it's energised to a certain degree to start glowing as a sphere. But what I keep, what I, when I, when I shut down now the pressure, mm -hmm. or the, 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 the valve, and the pressure is going up again, mm -hmm. it starts focusing again on the bottom. That, that is also that uh, okay. again. And so it, 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 it has to do with pressure where the focus is. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. very strange. 